you can be in the video. Okay, so this is a final plumbing test for my aquaponics system. Um, no media in here yet. Um, and obviously no fish in the tank. This is just to make sure everything works correctly. So this outside piece here is just a media guard. When I put the lava rock in, this is just to make sure that the lava rock stays out of my drain. This here is a bell siphon. I've got my pump pumping water in here. Once the water reaches the standpipe height, it's going to create a siphon. And that siphon is going to drain this bed very quickly. And we're almost there now. You can see my pump down there. And right now it's kind of floating. It's eventually I'm going to zip tie it to that rock and that will serve two purposes. The rock will weight it down so that it doesn't float and it will also keep the pump higher than the bottom of the tank. Because what I want is that, you know, if the if my water feed to my bed for whatever reason fell out of the bed and it started pumping water out into the out to the ground, I don't want it to pump all the water out of the tank and kill the fish. So you want the pump elevated so that it's not on the bottom of the tank, so there's always some water at the bottom of the tank for the fish, even if even in a worst case scenario. <clears throat> okay, we're almost to the point where the bell siphon's gonna start here. I don't know if you can see, but there's a lot of PVC uh, floating in the in the uh, grow bed right now, also down in the tank. This is gonna get one final pressure wash before I uh, put it all together just to get all that crap out. And that's just from me cutting my PVC. I was using uh, my grinder and a cutting wheel to cut my PVC. Also of note is that I'm using clear vinyl tubing. Uh, I realize that's a bad choice because clear vinyl or clear anything will encourage algae growth. That will get changed eventually, although I'll probably run with it for a little bit. Okay, almost to the point where the siphon's going to start. See my level once it reaches pretty much the bottom of the cap. There, now it's starting. See my flow starting to go here. Drain. And that is uh, more flow in the drain than the pump is pumping out. And so it's siphoning. It's actually siphoning the water out of the tank. Right now. And these uh, 290s, that's actually to help start the siphon. I've been told that it helps a lot. I haven't actually experimented without those 90s, but I've been told they uh, help a whole lot. You can see my siphon started. Water level in my grow bed is is uh, receding. Once it reaches those slits down there, those slits are cut large enough that it's going to allow air to get into the system, which will break the siphon. The siphon will break. Yeah, it'll suck air up into here. Yeah. And it won't be able to siphon anymore. So then it'll start filling back up again. What do you think? Good. All right. Uh, he's been helping me a lot with moral support. My middle son, Marcus, is very excited about this too. He's actually uh, working odd jobs today, so he's not here. But he's going to be the one that actually tends this system while I'm uh, away for work. Um, so it's pretty much going to be his fish and his plants um, for the time being. Okay, so now we're almost down to the level of those slits. Now watch what happens when the water level reaches those slits.
It's almost there. Uh -huh. uh, start to starts to cavitate and suck a little air. You hear the water level down here is slowing. And there. Start sucking air there. 